Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a factory reset on a Schlage electronic deadbolt. More specifically, how to reset a BE365 Schlage electronic deadbolt. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. So if you've just moved into a house that has one of these Schlage electronic deadbolts, consider yourself lucky. This is a great little deadbolt. We've installed hundreds of them. They have been out on the market for five or six years now. They're very, very heavy duty. But one of the things you want to make sure you do if you bought a house that has one is you want to make sure that you reset it back to the factory original default settings and then go in and add any changes that you wanna make. That reset will clear it out to make sure that any old codes that are in it are no longer going to work and that your house is safe and secure. If you did just buy a house that has this deadbolt and you're not sure how to do it, I'll put a link to a video that gives instructions on how to add and remove codes from this deadbolt as well as changing the program code. So I'll put a link to that video down below for you. Also, it behaves a little bit differently than other electronic deadbolts and particularly the smart electronic deadbolts that are out on the market um, in that it is not automatically or it will not automatically throw and release the deadbolt. You need to manually turn it to lock and unlock the door. So real quick, let me just show you how that works in case you're unfamiliar with it. Um, we have a code in this one of 5715. That code is accepted. I can now unlock the door and when I leave the home and I want to lock the door, this one is set up so I can hit the Schlage button and lock the door behind me without using a key. So that's the basic operation of this deadbolt. Before you perform a factory reset on this deadbolt, you need to make sure that the information that shipped with the deadbolt is available to you. So these electronic deadbolts by Schlage have a sticker on the inside. You have to pull this lock off the door in order to view that sticker. But when you do a factory reset, this programming mode that is in there and the two default user codes that are in there will now become the programming and user codes of the deadbolt. If that sticker is not there, do not perform factory reset. You won't have those codes. You won't have that programming code. You won't be able to use the lock electronically if you don't have that information and you will have just turned this into a standard deadbolt. So make sure that that is available either on the sticker or the previous owner left you the user's manual that has that information in it. Very important. The first thing we're going to need to do in order to factory reset this is take uh, this back panel off because we need to access the 9 volt battery um, that is inside the back panel and we need to disconnect that. And that is where the 9 volt battery is located. Before I pull that out real quick, let me just confirm to you that um, this default user code of 1737, I don't know if you could see that there, 1737, that is not in the lock. And let's confirm that. 1737. Okay, so that default factory code is not there and not available. After we do this reset, we'll test and confirm that that is indeed there. So before going through this sequence, I'm going to tell you what needs to be done because it is going to go rather quickly and I want to make sure I hit all of the points. I'm going to disconnect this battery and then I will press and release this Schlage button. After you do that, you have 10 seconds to go through the following steps. I need to reconnect the battery and then the Schlage button should glow green for a second. And then I need to press and hold the Schlage button until it lights green and the lock beeps. Okay, after that, I should be able to enter one of the default codes and confirm that that default code is back in the lock, which will confirm for me that I have factory reset. So there's a lot of little things that are going to take place there. That's why I wanted to make sure to cover that before I started the process. Let's pull this battery out. And step one, Disconnect the battery. Press the Schlage button on the front of the lock. And reconnect the battery. 
and press and hold the Schlage button until it lights green and the lock beeps. At that point, I should have factory reset this lock. So let me take a look at that code again, make sure I know what it is. It is 1737. It accepted the code and everything has been factory reset on this lock. Have you bought a home that's using this lock? Um, do you own this lock? I'd love to have your comments on it down below because this is one of our favorite basic electronic deadbolts. You can pick them up on Amazon now, I think for less than a hundred bucks. I'll put links to that product down below in case you want one. But uh, if you do have it, comment down below because I'd be interested in knowing what you think about it. So that's how you perform a factory reset of a Schlage electronic deadbolt. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do product reviews. We do instructional videos such as this one. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Locksmith Recommended.